what was your them. labor like? Fantastic. Was it? Yeah, it was really good. Well, they say shit pregnancy. Oh no, they don't. They say shit pregnancy, good baby, or is it shit pregnancy, good labor? Well, I don't know because I, I, I I'm not really sure. But I, I, I came a week early, and I was like. Yep, you know, I'm, I'm taking the drugs, I'm not a hero, you're my doctor, you know, you tell me what I need to do on the day. And um, he's like, yep, cool, no worries. I, <laughs> I've had a whole pizza the night before, right? Um, a whole pizza. Right. And um, I didn't realise I was in labour, so I thought I just had really bad stomach pains from eating the pizza. Right. Okay, so yep. all night, like, I'm going... Ooh, that pizza's really not agreeing with me. Oh. So all night I have these stomach pains and then like in the morning I'm like, yeah, I, oh, I think I might be a bit constipated or something. So I think funny. I'm constipated. I think I have to go like and see a doctor. <laughs> and Tom's like, you're being ridiculous. You're not due for like another 10 days. Pull yourself together. I'm like, all right, all right, all right. I'm like, no, 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 you need to take me into the hospital. I, I just, I, I feel like I've, I've perforated my bowel. Like I was just right. being ridiculous. I get in. Just we're in total denial. Seven centimetres dilated. <gasps> You've done <laughs> all the la- hard work thinking you just had a pain in your tummy from pizza. That's the best. <laughs> yeah. So I got in there and I'm like, and Tom's like, he's like, you're such a hypochondriac. I've got a business meeting at 10. So what I'll do is I'll drop you at, I'll drop you at the hospital. I said, just, just wait for me. Just wait. I'll be literally 15 minutes. I'm like, park the car. This, the, this baby's coming. <gasps> wow. I raced in and my waters hadn't broken, which was so weird. Um, so I, you know, it's on the gas, which was so much fun. Was it? See, I'm such a control freak that I didn't want my mind to be altered at all. Oh, I, it felt like being, I was at the races drinking champagne. Did it? Yeah. Um, and then they said, okay, well, epidural. I had two epidurals that didn't work. Oh. Yeah, I, well, I don't get how they can't work. Do they just, not get it in the right spot? No, or? I just, I think there's a, a small percentage of women that they just don't work for. Right. Um, and he was a 4.23 kilo baby. Oh, he was a big boy. And he, um, he kept spinning, so oh. they needed to hold his head with forceps. Um, and you could feel all of this? Yeah, but oh. I had the gas. And they, <laughs> had, they, they got to one point where my obstetrician said, like, had to wrestle the gas from my hands, I said, look, you really need to concentrate now. You oh need God, to concentrate. So this funny. is the last two minutes. You need to push, and you just because you are not concentrating. Like I was telling people, I was telling the nurses dirty jokes. Are you while you were on the gas? Like, yeah, come in, yeah, come in here. I was like, I was wow. off my face. Like it was insane. So, were you feeling any pain or not really? Um, no, that's a no. Because if you pause like that, that's well, yeah, I don't. I can't really remember. Wow. Yeah, and, and the, the gas has kind of really distracted you. Um, and, oh, my God, that last two minutes, though, that was that was pretty painful. But what was what was good about it was that it was mostly quick. Yeah. And I just thought it was a, a case of, you know. Pizza. Pizza belly. Oh, my God, that is so funny. <laughs> that, is, that is such a great labour story. It was... Um, yeah, it was, it, and it, you know, by the time we got to hospital, I think he, he came in like four or five hours. Wow. So, yeah. Awesome. Which means the next one's going to be a nightmare. Maybe not. Oh, uh, I don't know. I just think no one gets out alive. You yeah. know, no one gets out unscathed. No, you don't get, you don't get just pizza pain and then spit out nah, a baby. No, nah. And I think it's the same, like, you know, Paul's been pretty good kid. He had some pretty bad colic at one point there um, right. in the first three months, but... You know, he's not the perfect child. He still doesn't sleep through the night now, but... Mine's five and doesn't. But by and large, you know, we haven't had any real issues. And you just he's go, this next one's going to be a nightmare. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. just know. Yeah, you do get one. There's one in every family. Yeah. And if you don't know who the one is, it's you. You know what I mean? <laughs>